Are we so extraordinary that we are alone in the universe? Or are we so insignificant that obviously, there is a planet out there with intelligent species like us? Considering our position in the universe and the existence of extraterrestrial life, philosophers and scientists have proposed many contrasting, sometimes provocative principles. Let's review some of them. At one end of the spectrum, aliens enthusiasts will invoke the mediocrity principle to assume that the universe is not specifically designed for us. And if we are average creatures, living on an average planet, orbiting one of the billions of average stars in our galaxy, then life is not special and it likely exists elsewhere in the universe. This principle is inferred from the Copernican principle, which states that we are not privileged observers in the universe. At the opposite of it, the misanthropic principle holds that evolution is such a contingent process and the universe is so hostile that the probability to meet living species in our universe is zero. Life is not so ordinary, and we are likely totally alone. Somewhere in the middle, the uniformity principle suggests that the physical and chemical laws apply identically everywhere in the universe. This universal principle, without assuming anything about intelligent life, seems enough to justify our quest for exoplanets orbiting inhabitable zones. This is what the SDTI Institute and NASA's Exoplanet Exploration Program are betting on. The anthropic principle is based on the observations that the laws of physics include a large number of fine adjustments, without which the universe would not have had sufficient stability for life to appear. Inferring from this principle, and to answer the question, why is the universe so suitable for intelligent life? Some people consider that a group of multiple different universes exists, called multiverse. And we finally live in the universe that suit us. Therefore, it may exist other universes where life exists in different forms. Finally, the participatory anthropic principle states that, everything being ruled by quantum physics at a microscopic level, the universe to become real must be observed, implying one or more conscious beings. And so, we may not be the only observers. Tell me in your comments which one you like best, or why not, your own principle.